Om Tat Sat. My humble prostrations to the all-pervading Brahman or God, to my worshipful Guruji, Swami Jyotirmayananda Ji Maharaj, to all the sages and saints of this world, and to each of you, Divine Soul, watching today's satsang. Today we will be studying Sutra number 20 from the Vibhuti Pad of the Raja Yoga Sutras of Patanjali Maharaj. So, the sutra uh, commentary by my worshipful Guruji, Swami Jyotar Mainanji Maharaj and narrated by myself, Swami Nikhilananda. So, let's get started. Sutra number 20 is Na cha tat salambanam tasya vishayi bhutatvat Let's repeat. Na cha tat salambanam tasya vishayi bhutatvat it says, so this is a continuation from Sutra number 19 we covered yesterday. It says, but not the contents of another's mind because that is not the object of one's samyama. Remember we were saying they can uh, focus on the mind of uh, an individual just by looking at his skin color, his eyes, his uh, ex facial expressions and so on. So uh, let's get deeper into the sutra and it says by meditating upon another's mind one realizes its state but not its content. So in general terms it can basically say the person is spiritual or he is angry or what kind of states. In a, in other words, by the techniques mentioned in the previous sutra, one may know the mind, whether it is agitated, calm, grief-stricken, etc. But he cannot know what has produced that state. Why did he get there uh, from his sanyama status? However, this is still possible if he focuses just on that cause. Like if he wants to find the cause, then he will again close the eyes, concentrate and try to find the cause. And therefore now since the focus is on the cause, he will be able to get to the cause. But in general terms, when a person, when a yogi is just trying to do samyama on a person in the initial stages, unless he focuses specifically on the cause, he is not going to generally get into all that. So, um, this is not the objective of his meditative uh, process, his experience. But they do have the power if they want to do it, but it would take a second step to get there. So, that is the essence of this sutra. I hope you are enjoying these uh, vibhutis. Vibhutis means glories and they do happen. They do happen to people but most of us, you know, we are so unprepared for this experience and uh, it's sometimes, and some of us are frankly non-believers, we don't think this could ever happen. But, but yet the yogis and the advanced uh, sages and saints, they have it. But anybody who has it will never, will never tell you he has it. That is the mysticism of this beautiful science. And like I have always reminded you, these siddhis and vibhutis um, are, are like uh, milestones along the way that you are proceeding on the right path. But if your ego gets inflated or if you start building pride and or you start using these things for wrong purposes, immediately um, your decline begins and that is the end of your spiritual progress you know you start uh, uh, you don't you don't proceed any further you are therefore static you will have this small little thing that you got but then after that it's your downfall so therefore uh, most sages saints holy people would never even tell what all the these energies and and strengths and uh, and mystic uh, uh, abilities they have again the objective is what? That is the goal. The goal, if the objective is holy, to connect with God and to be spiritual, you would walk, you would worship um, the whole process and be very, very mindful of your energies. They should make you humble and they should be used to heal people, to help people, to make this world a better place, not to get rich, not to advertise, not to become famous. Those things, uh, sages and saints don't care about that at all because all this transience of the world process, the world comes and goes, our bodies will come and go. So they don't give this any value. Unfortunately, most of the world, um, you know, drools over, <laughs> over name, fame, money, prosperity, and so on. But these things don't mean anything to advanced yogis and saints. 
I hope uh, this sutra made sense to you. We will be covering sutra number 21 tomorrow. This is Swami Nithilananda. Om Tat Sat.